Lesson 0.4, plagiarism in art. And when we're referring to art, we're referring to everything in the visual arts, drawing, painting, sculpture, ceramics, photography, graphic design, illustration, advertisements. So the objective for this lesson is you're going to learn how to explain the difference between pl plagiarism and appropriation in art. Andy Warhol, Johnny Cash, Gucci, Bob Dylan, Shepard Fairey, and Roy Lichtenstein. Three of those are artists. Johnny Cash and Bob Dylan are music artists. Gucci is a fashion designer. All those artists have been accused of plagiarism, which means they were accused of taking somebody else's artwork or style or design and claiming it to be their own. So the visual arts, it, it wants creativity and originality, but artists of all forms have been known to emulate, reference, and alter others' work. Because sometimes that's just how we learn to become creative. So what is plagiarism? Dictionary.com defines plagiarism as an act or instance of using or closely imitating the language and thoughts of another author without authorization, which means you don't, do not have permission. And the representation of that author's work as one's own, as by not crediting the original author. Often in your English classes, you hear about plagiarism, right? Don't plagiarize your essay. So writing though, isn't the only thing that we can plagiarize. We can plagiarize images. It's, it's not, not, no different than plagiarizing words, music, or any form of original work. So here's an example in real life. This was a poster created by Shepard Fairey. It was created for the Obama presidential campaign. He created it on his own. This was not created by the Obama campaign. And so this is the poster that was created. This is the photo that Shepard Fairey referenced. Shepard Ferry didn't credit the photo source. He actually got in legal trouble for doing this. This photograph was taken by somebody from the Associated Press. Here's another example by Shepard Ferry. This is a poster Shepard Ferry created. It says, greetings from Iraq. It's a poster that's commenting on the Iraq war. This is the image source that Shepard Ferry used. You can see that the plume of smoke is very similar. This is an original illustration by Rubens LP, and Rashidi Barrett actually copied this person's work and presented it as their own original work. This is a 3D model of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. This was created by Universal Pictures for Jurassic Park. This artist actually just copy and pasted the design, changed the color, added a few things, and then credited it as their very own original work. So why is plagiarism important? Like, who really cares? The problem is plagiarism is a theft. You're, you're stealing intellectual property. You're stealing that something that somebody has created. Plagiarism is a form of cheating because you're claiming to have created the work when you really didn't create it. Plagiarism in an academic sense might result in a failing grade or a zero for an assignment. If you plagiarize and, and you have a creative career field, you could lose your job or your accreditation as an artist. There's two types of plagiarism. There's intentional, such as copying a friend's work, you're buying or borrowing papers. This is true. People have bought essays. Maybe you're borrowing without documenting where you got the source from. Unintentional plagiarism could be you're just paraphrasing, but you're not doing it very well. You're quoting excessively, which means you're using a lot of somebody else's words, which means you're not using your own voice. What is unethical in the classroom? So copying from a photo or an image without altering it, that's copying, right? You found it on the internet. You didn't actually create it yourself. You're just copying what's there. Maybe you're using a copyrighted character such as Hello Kitty, Winnie the Pooh, a Disney character. Maybe you're using a trademark logo or a symbol like Nike, Volcom, DC Shoes, maybe a sports team logo, right? You're, you're copying directly. Now, this is a little different than like what's happening in this photo here. We have two people creating paintings. They're actually studying this artist's work. As long as they do not sell these paintings, they are totally fine. It's not plagiarism because they're learning a technique, right? They're learning how to create a painting based on the techniques used by this artist. 
This person, this is a sketchbook page. This is a painting. They're studying the style of the artist and they're applying that style for a painting of a skull, right? So the intent is different. What is copyright though? So copyright, it's, it's where all, so all writings and artworks, they're pre, create, protected by copyright automatically. Um, so you don't have to do anything to receive copyright protection. It's actually a legal thing. It, it means it allows the artist to profit from the artwork they create. For example, you create a drawing of something, you can profit from the drawing as long as you haven't taken that drawing from somebody else, right? Maybe you make a painting and you scan it into the computer to make copies to be sold. That is totally legal. However, if someone else takes your painting and tries to profit from it, they get in legal trouble because they are violating copyright laws. And here's some actual examples where this happened. Um, this artist, she created these pins and Zara, which is a clothing company, just downright copied the design for their clothing. They didn't give credit to the original artist. This artist created this illustration of Alice in Wonderland and look what Disney did. They used it for a cosmetic bag. Um, this artist here, Shin, Shintaro Kagu, they created this illustration. And then this person named Janet Hayes claimed to have created their own drawing. Lily Chin, she created this illustration called Doggy Language. And then Kohl's, which is a clothing company, they stole the designs to create a t-shirt. Band rapper Sadat X, they released an album with an artwork very similar to Jay Roto without getting the, his permission. Yes, they changed the words a little bit, but I mean, everything is pretty similar. So what's acceptable? It's okay to reference art. Maybe you're referencing a photo of lizards to create an illustration of a dragon, right? So you're referencing the photo to understand what a lizard looks like. You're not copying, you're just referencing. This artist here demonstrated how they can take these three reference images, these, ref these source images, to create something totally original. This artist created a, a uh, graphic design piece of, of, of a portrait of Vincent van Gogh using the very similar style to his own paintings, but it's not a painting, right? She's copying the style. And this 12 year old here referenced this photo of poke of Chansey, which is a Pokemon. And that's their drawing. Again, it's not plagiarism. And sometimes you'll see masterpieces being copied by artists or art students to practice a technique. This is totally fine because they're not going to use that artwork to be sold or used in a competition. You can even sell reproductions of artwork that's beyond copyright, but you have to call it a reproduction. Now, there's this concept called fair use. It means you can use copyrighted materials for maybe education, for commentary, or parody. And here are some examples of parodies of famous artwork. This is the painting of the Mona Lisa. This is the parodied version. This is a painting by Salvador Dali. And here's an artist that parodied it. They, they, they copied the style. Here's the painting called The Scream. And there's the parried version. When is it not acceptable to copy though? So let's say um, there, your teacher has a unit on cartooning and the students have to create a character. Well, if that character just created an artwork that included SpongeBob SquarePants, even if they like, I copied the image of SpongeBob SquarePants, that's considered plagiarism because Squ SpongeBob SquarePants was created by an animator, Steven Hillenberg, not the student. What can you do instead? Appropriate, use appropriation. Maybe you're taking your own photos, make the artwork your own, right? Here's a fan art, concert photo, right? This is how they could create something original. So what's appropriation? It's where you're adapting, you're borrowing, recycling, or sampling visual artwork and transforming the original to create something new, right? You're taking parts of something to create something new. Here's an example of plagiarism though, right? This is the original artwork. This was found on Pinterest and the student just changed the color. Same concept. Yeah, maybe the details are a little different, but it's very, very similar. So they basically plagiarized. Here's an example of appropriation. 
maybe using different materials and processes, right? But making it your own, right? So that's not plagiarism, but that's something new, right? They're trying something new. Here are some more examples of artistic plagiarism. You're taking another person's project and you're putting your name on it. You're turning in a photo of someone else's artwork and submitting it that in Canvas. You're asking or allowing another student to do your work for you. You're copying from another artist's idea without making it your own. You're not citing your source or you don't know where your inspiration came from, right? So you're just blatantly copying. If you're in doubt, if you're not sure, please, please ask your teacher. How can you appropriately appropriate an artwork? So first, brainstorm and think about your idea first. Maybe talk to me about your ideas and get some feedback. Gather multiple sources of, ins of inspiration, right? If you are really inspired by a cartoon, get multiple sources of that cartoon. Take your own reference photos. Make multiple sketches of your ideas. Create your own resources, right? Maybe you're collecting patterns, color schemes, textures, words. You can combine and transform all of your resources to create something original, right? We're making it your own.